2x e to the x minus y plus 6x squared dx. And then let's go ahead and subtract it over and set it equal to 0. Okay. Let's just go ahead and subtract the x e y over there. So let me get 2x e to the x minus y plus 6x squared dx is minus x dy is equal to 0. That's tricky. Yeah, alright. And then the form is actually addition in the middle. So just for clarification, I'm going to write plus like times the negative one. That's a subtle point there. All right. So again, we have to check to make sure it actually is exact. So we call this first piece m. So we compute del m del y. And when we do that, we just get, well, that's all a function of x. That's just 0. Then here we have a negative y, so we get a negative 1. And then that's solely a function of x, so 0. And then over here we do del n del x, where that's just n. And that's a negative x, so we just get our negative 1. So it's exact. All right, so to make it a little more clear, let's, um, we're just going to integrate this entire piece with respect to x. So you get 2x e to the x minus y plus 6x squared dx is equal to the integral of negative x dy. So we're integrating with respect to x. Here we can use tabular as a quick method for solving it. So we pick the term that differentiates down to 0 and we just do that. So it's our 2x. So when it differentiates down to 0, we go 2, 0. Then we take our e to the x and we integrate it up. And it just stays e to the x. And then we alternate signs. So you can think of that as multiplying by a positive one and this multiplying by a negative one. So that integral becomes 2x e to the x minus 2 e to the x, and that's just that first piece. So now when we integrate our negative y with respect to x, we get minus xy. And then lastly, when we integrate our 6x cubed, we get 2x cubed. And then over here, we're just integrating with respect to y, and we should get a negative xy. And again, you can throw on plus c on the side. All right, and then you look to see what's similar, and you only keep one copy of it. Does that make sense to you guys? So the negative x, y, we have it on both sides, so we just keep one copy of it. So you can literally just think of it as erasing it on this side. That's what I'm going to do. And then we have it equal to c. Translate that over. And... Again, we're done now. That's it. That's it. Push. And this only works if it's exact? Yeah, yeah, this is a, a technique for exact. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll only work if it's exact. If so it's we not exact, make this one exact. Make it like exact. We did last. you can make it exact and then apply this technique to it after you make it exact. Okay. This always works. Just match them like he did. See how he matched it? Yeah. yeah. This way, it only works. Um, only if one term differentiates down to zero. If it doesn't, then you have to go and do integration by parts. There's some other techniques that you can use too, though. Like with sine x and the x. Um, only one of them has to. Yeah, only one has to differentiate down to zero, because that's what they have to do. So, everyone good? <laughs> All right, so I'm just